Well, he is a painter, a photographer, and sometimes a writer, too. Even if you don't know the name William Wegman, you probably know his work. He was in town today talking with some pint-sized VIPs. Fox Eyes Beth Parker was there as well. And, you know, you can always find a canoe under some pine trees. Always. Just if you look hard enough, eventually you will find a red canoe. These kids may be sick, but their funny bones are working just fine, thank you. Forever. <laughs> William Wegman spent more than 40 years getting laughs and looks and heartfelt thank yous from those who adore his photographs of his beloved Weimariners. I just fall in love with them every time I photograph them. It's not easy getting dogs dressed up and sitting on a sailboat, let alone looking in the right direction. Is that the hardest part, getting both dogs to look the same direction? No, getting two dogs to look in two different directions is the hardest thing. I had to take my daughter on her school camping trip. I could not figure out how to set up the tent. At the Lombardi Cancer Center, Wegman read from his latest book, Flo and Wendell Explore. Four-year-old Maya likes the part where the dogs see a rock but suspect it's a bear. His brother think it was real, but it was just a rock. Maya has leukemia, but is in remission. She's certainly well enough to make a dog puppet. Wegman relates to dogs and kids. He says he was a sickly child himself. I had was the first case of Rocky Mountain fever east of the Rocky Mountains in 1949. I was in the hospital for like two weeks. And he likes red, you said? I signed yours on one page and his on another. The fact that I'm hearing people are enjoying it, especially here, makes me especially happy. Happy like the way people feel when they see his work. The person is in here, and the dog is just behind the chair, standing on something. Many children know the dogs from regular appearances on Sesame Street. Add flower. A little more flour. Wegman started photographing dogs way back in 1970. I do occasionally think that I've done plenty. You know, that this is, there's no need for another picture of a Weimar honor in, on, under, over, anything. <laughs> uh, but then they look at me and they go, come on, we gotta go to work. In a way, William Wegman is just like everybody else who has a dog. I also love that they love me, that they look at me all the time and I'm their fun director. Uh, and and they really have me kind of uh, on a string. I'm their puppet, actually. I do whatever they say. <laughs> and there I am in my studio in Maine painting these wonderful pictures, which makes us all so happy, and me especially. At MedStar Georgetown University Hospital, Beth Parker, Fox 5 Local News. I love sad, that. you know, doing what he loves to do and mm -hmm. making uh, those kids happy as well. I've um, always loved his photographs yeah, and terrific. have always been amazed that he is able to get those dogs to do what he wants them to do. It's, it's, it's amazing. My favorite was the dogs and the Snuggies. Did you see that yeah, one? No. Yeah. <laughs> I will look it up right away. It was really cute. Oh, how fun. They Very may need funny. a Snuggie. Hey, you know what? Tonight. They would come in handy for a lot of us and not just tonight, but tomorrow.